Yes, now we will discuss about the peritoneal relation. Here you can see this is line of reflection of peritoneum. Here peritoneum reflect and form the falciform ligament. Here this is peritoneal reflection which form the falciform ligament and on posterior side and inferior side this is posterior side, this is inferior, this, this, this surface is posterior, inferior surface. Here you can see this is line of reflection of the peritoneum. This is left triangular ligament. Here it form left. Triangular ligament. This is the right triangular ligament. Right. And here is this ligament. This is this is superior coronary ligament, this is inferior coronary ligament. Coronary ligament. That is superior and inferior coronary ligament. This is superior, this is inferior coronary ligament. This is porta hepatis. This is fissure for ligamentum venosum. Here is fossa for gallbladder. So peritoneum reflected at this area. And here on posterior surface, this bare area, this is bare area. Bare area means uncovered area, the area which is not covered by peritoneum. So this area which lies between the superior inferior coronary ligament and right triangular ligament, this area is bare. Here, left triangular ligament, this area is bare. This porta hepatis area, this area is bare. Fossa for gallbladder, this area is bare. So the and other area where there is a line of reflection of the peritoneum. This is line of reflection of the peritoneum. So this area is also bare. So these are the area, bare area present in relation of the liver. And folds of the peritoneum form the ligament. Here one ligament is falciform ligament. Left triangular ligament, right triangular ligament, superior coronary, inferior coronary ligament. And from here, this area, lesser omentum is formed. From here, peritoneum reflect and form the lesser omentum. So, this is all about the peritoneal relation. Thank you.